and now this is the time to change to state full widget so i will press alt and enter here after having a cursor on my stateless widget then i will say convert to state full widget so instantly everything is now converted to state full widget we don't have to do anything and if i now save everything will work as it was working before but now we have a problem it says all country is not a subtype of stateless widget so here we are using stateful widget and in the main dot dot file we are using this as a stateless widget so that's why we have this problem so we can simply solve this by having a new before this uh, all countries and now you can see it will work properly okay let's move back to all countries so here we are having all the countries and here we have length and now what we need we need to put these data inside a variable so we are going to create a variable inside underscore all countries state so this is very important here we are going to create so i will create a list and list name is countries so it is empty for now but here we are going to say countries is equal to response.data but previously we know that this will not work we need to use set state so set state will do our work and if i save this and try to print inside this widget build and i will say countries let's see what's going to happen and yes we are having all the countries but every time anything is going to build it's now having a print inside our run but that's cool but there's another way of doing this so here we are going to say in it and in it state this means whenever this build function is going to run or whenever this uh, you can say widget this all country widget is going to create then before everything this function is going to run okay so now what i am going to do i'm going to say countries is equal to get countries uh, not current tag get countries but why android studio is not giving any suggestion because if you can see we have given void here we are saying this this get countries function is not going to return anything but we want to return it something and we are going to return response.data so response.data this we are going to return okay but now we need to change this to a list so as soon as i did that again we are getting error but let's see whether we are getting this yeah this time we are getting suggestion from android studio but still we are having some problem this is very simple problem it says you're using a async and await this means this function is returning something in the future so that's why we need to say this is a type of future okay so now i'm saying future list but doing this creates another problem it says now you cannot assign data from the future list to a simple list okay so that means we can do this also so we are saying that okay this has to be a future list so this country variable or list is going to get data in the future so future data comes from this function and in it function is going to get all the data from the get countries into our countries and this we can prove by just printing countries inside init state and once more if i save this file and let's try hot restart and we should see something here it says future instant hmm this is not so good we have here so let's try to print this inside build function okay so we have get countries here also so let's print that here and still it's saying print is countries so what what's going to happen okay so as i told you this variable and this function is giving us data in the future so we cannot even use that 
countries inside our list view because list view want data instantly so what's the solution solution is using future builder okay so let's go to flutter website and in this website let's search for future builder this search is actually a simple google search so you will see the search is here okay so let's click here on this future builder class which is on the api.flutter.dev so let's make it big okay so here is the example so we can grab all these things from here copy and what i will do first i will comment all these list view so that i can get something from here in the future and this future builder comes here okay that's cool so you can see we have done this and now it says okay future builder is a string mm -hmm. no not a string it's a list maybe and if you are not sure you can remove this so i'm removing everything and now i'm saying that this future builder get data from future and future is countries okay so now we are having this future data inside this countries and we are passing that into future builder now it says you are having a list so you need to say i am having a list inside this next it says builder is having some problem and now builder also want a list okay that's cool so error is gone and this time i am removing this switch statement and i will say if a snapshot dot data or a snapshot has data uh, not error has data then i'm going to return let's say a simple text hello okay so what this snapshot is a snapshot is the data inside this countries so if we want to check then i can simply say snapshot dot data and i will put this inside if snapshot has data then only going to print it so run this and yes we are having this so this means now we are getting all the data from the countries future variable or future list actually so that's cool and this time if i try to see hello is there that means future builder is working absolutely fine and now i will grab this gesture detector which we have created with the list view so i will copy that from there and i will paste it here with a semicolon and uncomment everything this time we have to see yeah india is there india is there and let's once more try hmm one single india but we want a list of uh, the countries so why not grab list view so what i will do once more i will cut this gesture detector and i will say list view or list view dot builder so list view dot builder get item builder what item you are going to build so i'm going to build for gesture detector okay but it's giving error it says gesture detector can be assigned to a widget function build in it so we need to say here we are saying build context which will get context and then we will say index which is int and this is going to return and like this return gesture detector and give a semicolon here at here and this is good so we have a list of all the countries but now we need to put everything with the name proper name so we know this uh, snapshot dot has data also has a snapshot dot data so we can simply say snapshot dot data and then we can grab like snapshot dot data and with an index and getting the name so 
simple let's have this i think this is navigation so i need to come back with this kind of notation and paste it here so snapshot data and all the list of countries are available here that's good that's exactly what we want so this is nice and now let's pass the name to our countries because every time i visit any uh, click on any country it will have india at the top so let's get back with the exact country name so yes we can grab the same thing and pass it to here so if i go algeria that's cool then virgin islands that's again very nice and what we can do actually inside this countries uh, instead of having a name we can get the country full detail so it's like a country and then country name so this means we need to pass just this thing so snapshot dot data and index so let's have some it says problem okay yeah because this is not a string this is a list so this is a list or a map yeah it's a map actually not a list okay so that's we got reloaded and this means now everything is going to work properly and this is very cool and in the next episode we are going to see how we can actually uh, either we can do a filter like filtering the list because there's lots of countries or we can have some cards here to show the details like population currency capital flag these kind of things which we know we are going to create so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye